Apostle, I'm struggling with sickness. Go to that which is written. Open your Bible. Find out there were sick people in the Bible who were healed. What did they do? This world is not designed for spirits. It's a three-dimensional framework of existence. Three-dimensional entity. So in case a spirit has jurisdiction within this context, a man permitted that spirit to function. In fact, prayer is earthly permission for heavenly interference. Whoever told you God cannot prosper you, this money thing that is making you leave the Lord, you need to pipe, pipe low with it and come back to God and say, my pursuit for money. You may have done it sincerely. Lord, I return to you. Help me and show me mercy. You are the only one who can open the eyes of a man to see an oasis in the desert. If you do not open the eyes of men, they will not see apostle my own is that i need money for ministry it is the god of heaven who made the friends of job who left him to return back in job 42 and verse 10 he was dejected and left there as though he did not have god he lost everything in his life the only person humanly speaking who was with him was his wife and i'm sure she was tired she said will you not cause god and die I can't leave you because I'm your wife, but help me by dying so that at least I can have a life with my remaining days. And Job said, all the days of my appointed time, he says, I will wait. Waiting is the hardest thing for a believer to do. Listen to my teaching. When God is silent, I've told you that the silence of God is a language. You need to know what God is saying when he's not speaking. For someone when God is silent he means keep pressing you are making the right decision don't change your mind keep pressing keep praying keep serving you are serving in the house of God and they look at you they'll say you keep getting old no man will come and marry you the same way it happened to your mother and you will feel stupid oh you cannot do this you you, you keep doing that you will be poor forever and you sit down and feel stupid and you think of your innocent mother and your siblings and where do i start from the god first principle for as long as he sought the lord the bible says god made him to prosper in john chapter 15 let's read from verse 1 to 3 i like this he says i am the vine john 15 1 3 i am the true vine in fact it says he says and my father is the husbandman follow carefully verse 2 every branch in me that beareth not fruit i take away and every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth that it may bring forth fruit verse 3 it says now ye are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you let's even continue the reading verse 4. it says abide in me i like this it's called the law of abiding abide in me don't just visit me abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself how many of you have seen a leaf with mango or orange on it just a leaf dangling in the air you will know that that is witchcraft trying to attack you because it does not happen that way is that true behind every when you see fruits all around there is a tree connected to the root the root the vine the branches then the leaves and the fruit so jesus is saying here that the same way a branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. It says, no more can ye except you abide in me. Never forget verse 5 for as long as you live. Let's read together. It says, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. The last verse, for without me ye can do nothing. For without me ye can do nothing the God first principle in the beginning God father I'm about to start this business and even though I think I know what I'm doing but I come to you you are the wisdom of God spirit of the living God you were sent to help me except you help me there is no guarantee that I will prosper oh someone said you will give me a job Lord thank you because you use men 
but it comes through men not from men it comes from god so if god has not released anything any man who claims to want to give you anything is only causing trouble for you and god says because you have trusted me he says they that trust in the lord shall be as mount zion that abided forever and is not shaken let me tell you the truth this ministry that you see there is nothing necessarily special in us our sufficiencies of God the one we have chosen to be head over this ministry many of you come from homes where if you remember there was a placard that used to be in our homes Christ is the head of this home remember the unseen guest at every meal the silent listener to every conversation there was a placard that used to rain like that as children they, they hung it there so that if you ever forget you will remember that the head of this home is not the father the head of this home is Christ that every home must be a triangle Christ being the upper part then the father and the mother if it is ever a straight line a straight line cannot spread itself around it is the presence of Christ and the more they rise towards Christ the more you see that shape beautifully represented Christ is the head of this home the unseen guest at every meal the silent listener to every conversation it is my prayer ladies and gentlemen as you listen to me that you will make a determination with your life tonight that this mundane pursuit of trying to live my life without Christ hear me dear Peter you may have heard me say it there are times you can go to the sea the sea is the correct place if you want to catch fish there are times you can have the net the net is the correct tool if you want to catch fish there are times you can have the skill and even the experience and yet strangely you will still not catch fish everything right education right connection right recommendations right and mysteriously your life will still remain like that that is where God comes the size of God cannot be filled with it cannot be replaced with anything anything forever as long as I live and as long as this ministry lives the head of this ministry remains Jesus Christ the wisdom behind everything that you see it was right here we started with the foolishness and the simplicity of following him and look what he's doing now and this is only a step out of the cave compared to the things that he's doing for the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light I'm saying this because someone seated here a few years from now you will return back to this place and stand on this podium with tears in your eyes you say I remember I came in as that villager from somewhere and while people were laughing at me I heard a preacher say this and I chose to listen at that point you'll be songs of praise that will just fill your heart Yabo Dagazuchia Naba Naba 